What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to another gun guide. This is the series where I take a deep dive into the stats of every one of the weapons in Black Ops Cold War's multiplayer, and in today's episode, we're going to be covering the brand new Lapa SMG. And starting it off as always, let's have a look at our damage profile, which is 35, 28, 23, meaning it's going to be a 5, 6, or 7 shot kill, which is pretty standard for a lot of SMGs. It's also worth noting there are no body multipliers with this, however, we do have a standard headshot multiplier at 1.4, and what this means is in the close to mid-range gunfights, it's going to only require one single headshot mixed in with body shots in order to help, and then at longer ranges, it will take two headshots mixed in. As for our rate of fire, this is 697 rounds per minute, which is literally identical to the AK-74U. However, the 74U kills in four shots up close, whereas this kills in five shots. And what that means is our time to kill potential up close is the slowest in the SMG category at 344 milliseconds. Not only is this slowest in the SMG category, it's also slower than nearly every single assault rifle in this game, which is out of the ordinary for an SMG in close quarter situations. Now, if we do manage to get a headshot mixed in with our body shots, though, we can cut our time to kill potential down to 258 milliseconds, which is much more competitive with other SMGs. So hitting that headshot with this gun is quite important. As for our bullet velocity, it does have quite a slow velocity at 231 meters per second, and this means long-range fights against moving targets are essentially out of the question unless you're using a barrel to boost this. And speaking of ranges, as we can see here, we've actually got a pretty decent range potential. Our 5-shot kill range is about 15 meters, and then the 6-shot kill range will extend out to around 25 meters. However, we have a lot of barrels that do a lot of different things. Some of these barrels are changing the fire rate and therefore the time to kill, which you can see represented there for the barrels that do change our time to kill. And some of the barrels will increase our ranges, and other barrels will decrease our ranges. So a lot going on there. If you wanted to take a deeper look at this, feel free to pause the video. But we're going to move on to Hardcore. And in Hardcore game modes, our one-shot kill range will extend out to 25 meters. Then getting into hipfire, we've got pretty standard hipfire for the SMG category on this. And then also with our idle sway, this is pretty standard. There is some idle sway there. It will be moving around while aiming down sight, but that shouldn't be an issue within the ranges that you're using this gun. Now, when it comes to recoil, as you can see here, it kicks basically straight upward, but there's a decent amount of side-to-side -side bounce as it kicks straight upward. I would say this is moderately controllable recoil. It's not insane, especially for an SMG. This is not bad by any means. But it is worth noting that using attachments to help with that horizontal recoil is going to be quite beneficial with this gun. As for our handling stats, our aim down sight time is great at 250 milliseconds. And then when it comes to our sprint out time, the stated sprint out time is 300 milliseconds. However, the actual experience sprint out time in game is just 217 milliseconds, which is really good. Even for an SMG, this is a solid sprint out time. But then let's get into our reload add time, which is 1.55 seconds. This is better than average for an SMG, so not bad by any means. And then you can also see what the various magazine attachments are going to be doing when it comes to their magazine count, as well as their reload times. And then finally, for the base stats, without any attachments, we've got our movement speeds, which are all just standard for an SMG. There are no surprises here whatsoever. And with that, when we have a look at the overall weapon strengths, the Lapa is fairly accurate for an SMG. You can challenge people out to a pretty decent range due to this accuracy. It's also got powerful headshots, even with no attachments equipped. Mixing just one headshot in in most situations you should be in with this gun will be helping you, which is awesome. And it also has really solid handling stats, so aim down sight and sprint out times. When it comes to the weaknesses, though, it does have the worst time to kill in the SMG category by a noticeable margin, and that really holds this gun back quite heavily. And on top of this, it has poor bullet velocity. This means even though it's relatively accurate, it's still hard to hit a moving target at longer ranges just due to this velocity. And as a result, it's often in your best interest to use a barrel that will boost your bullet velocity. And speaking of barrels, let's get into our unique attachments. We actually have three different barrel attachments that will change our damage profile. And I wanted to have a look at those because I'm sure you have a lot of questions about them. The first thing that's important to note is with all of these barrels that change your damage, whether they increase or decrease your damage, they have zero impact whatsoever on the number of shots to kill. It's still going to be a 5, 6, or 7 shot kill with any of the barrels that you're using. The only thing that really changes damage-wise here is the number of headshots required to get a kill. If you use the extended barrel, which will reduce our damage slightly, this means you now require two headshots mixed in with body shots at any range to help. Then with both the light tactical and BR compact barrels, these increase our damage a little bit. And with this, it just takes one headshot mixed in with body shots at any range to get a kill. However, just remember, without any of these barrels or any damage changes at all, most of your gunfights in those close to mid-range situations are just going to require one headshot mixed in with body shots. 
So if we're just looking at the damage side of things with these barrels and ignoring the other elements, the ones that boost your damage really aren't going to be helping you all that much. And the one that reduces your damage, the extended barrel, you do have to be aware of that because it does noticeably harm your headshot effectiveness. And with that, now let's move on to a couple great attachment combinations to get you on your feet when it comes to the Lapa SMG. And the first one is just a good all-arounder. With this, we're using the Agency Suppressor to stay off the radar and also get some vertical recoil control. We've got the Ranger Barrel, and the reason I'm using the Ranger Barrel is not only does it help quite a bit with your damage range, it also helps the most with your bullet velocity, which is very important if you're trying to stretch this gun out, which this gun kind of excels at. It doesn't really compete with other SMGs up close, but at a distance, it's pretty decent for an SMG since it's quite accurate. And just to make it even more accurate, we are using the Field Agent Grip. We've also got the 40 round magazine just for added versatility. And then finally the Serpent Wrap just to help a bit with our aim down sight time. So this is a super snappy gun and that might save you in a situation where you come up against a gun that has a better time to kill, but you'll be able to aim down sight a little bit faster than them. So that one is pretty basic, not a whole lot to say about that. It's just a decent all arounder like I said. Now let's get into a second class setup, which I don't personally like quite as much as the first one, but it's just an alternative for you. With this, we're using the Microflex LED, the regular sound suppressor, the 8.9 inch extended barrel. This is the one that's going to be boosting our fire rate. However, we are sacrificing headshot effectiveness, so it'll make it a bit more consistent with body shots because of that faster fire rate. However, we are trading off our headshot effectiveness. We once again have the 40 round magazine on this just because I really like that one. It doesn't hurt our aim down sight time, and yet it does boost the effectiveness of the gun a little bit. And then finally, the SAS combat stock. And the goal of this setup here is to be able to strafe really quickly in gunfights. We're going to be able to straight back and forth to dodge shots and make up for that poor time to kill that we have in relation to the other guns. And with that, that's going to wrap it up for today's gun guide on the Lapa SMG. As for my thoughts on this gun, it's not completely unusable, but having said that, the time to kill potential is just painfully slow for an SMG if you're not hitting headshots. If you can manage to always make sure you're mixing that one headshot in with body shots, then you can absolutely make this work. And I'm not saying it is unusable and terrible, but there are just better options out there in the SMG category. You can find more versatile options and you can find more dominant options up close as well. And as a result, I would just say it's sort of a slightly below average SMG that you can make work, but it just doesn't really have a whole lot going for it. Now, of course, this is just my opinion of the Lapa. I'd like to hear in the comment section below, what are you guys thinking about the Lapa SMG so far in Cold Wars multiplayer? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you just kind of indifferent to it? Just let me know down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.